How to recover from PTSD of waking up to someone in your apt. Hey everyone. So about two months ago I moved across the country to finish uni in Colorado. Less than three weeks after moving in my BF left for work and he forgot to lock the front door. I woke up two hours after he left to some noise in my bathroom and just as I was gonna go back to bed. I see some guy walk past my doorway. I was half asleep and I was sleeping in my underwear so my first thought was pants and I was half asleep and didn't have time to grab my phone. I ran after the guy and started questioning him. He was a few rooms from the bedroom where my phone was so I was afraid to get it and he run away or hurt me from behind. He said he was in the wrong apt and that he was looking for his roommate John so I immediately started yelling at him looking around the apt to see what I can grab or do. I basically made him empty his pockets and all that when I noticed he had money in his sock. He refused to show me the money and he crept towards the door. I followed him out and following him all down the hallway while yelling at him basically saying. What the F were you doing in my apartment over and over? We got to the stairs and one of the building managers saw me and asked if I knew him and the second. I said no he took off running. When I finally got to the app to call the police I realized my wallet was in the bathroom empty. When before it wad on my night table inches from me. They caught the guy a few days later. There's even articles about him but H is out on bail right now. I'm still constantly waking up to noises prop from my upstairs neighbor and constantly waking up. Paralyzed with fear. I go to victim counseling but it's not very helpful. I installed a video doorbell. A camera in the kitchen facing the door. A taza. A few pepper sprays. And one of those two-piece alarms from Amazon but still I'm uneasy. I barely sleep and I'm in a constant state of hypervigilance. Does anyone have a similar experience with tips on how to recover? The counselor says I have PTSD but nothing on how I should continue on from here. I'm lucky the guy didn't pull out a gun considering it's Colorado but now I g am afraid of him coming. Back to shut me up or someone else coming in and I won't get as lucky as last time. I'm sorry this happened to you. I recommend getting some kind of trigger device that sets an alarm on your phone off whenever the door is opened. Obviously one that allows you to mute alerts during the daytime hours. Look into therapists that perform EMDR. Thanks for all the advice. Unfortunately, I signed a one-year lease, but I definitely want to look into getting a dog. I've always had dog, but I feel like a yappy lil thing would be a good alarm. And I'm also looking into therapists and stuff. I would recommend moving. That place is a constant reminder and a trigger for you. Edit I've heard it helps a bit. There's been stories of people suffering an extreme PTSD-inducing traumatic event in their home and the biggest thing that started the healing process was getting away from where it happened. You should find a therapist or different counselor if that's what they're saying. There are ways to help cope and move on from this. And your counselor is not helpful. Sending love and peace. Can you try moving elsewhere? A locked apartment building on the top floor perhaps. Sometimes staying in the same building as the trauma occurred can make flashbacks worse. Could you get a dog? I have PTSD from something similar and it really helps me to barricade my door at night. You a bad bitch. Walked his ass straight out the building. Def gonna look into everything you guys have said especially with the locks and alarms and thanks. So much to everyone for your support. You guys are amazing. As for guns they kind of freak me out just in the sense that what if they take it from me and shit. Like that. 
I got some expensive pepper spray gun but I DK I feel like I should consider a real gun. I've heard that type of shit is iffy here in Colorado like how I could get fucked over for shooting a guy even if they broke in. I'm so sorry this happened to you. I can't offer any suggestions other than to move. I think you will always be hyper alert now. Pleading face. I got a big ass dog is what helped me. It's not for everyone and takes work and money but it's how I felt safest she's 150 pounds and she is. Protective AF. I had someone break into my house while I was sleeping. Luckily. He ran away when I confronted him. We now have cameras and trigger alarms keeping a shotgun near the bed seems to help me feel better. As well. I'm sorry this happened to you. My suggestion is to find a trauma specialist that can help you. I do EMDR and find it helpful. Also, maybe see a psychiatrist to get some short-term medical relief since sometimes that is necessary. Especially right after a traumatic event happens. I don't have any advice sadly. But just wanted to say I'm so sorry this happened to you. Hope you get the help devices you need to feel some sense of safeness again. Big hugs. I moved. I have a dog and a good lock and security system. I'm on a higher floor. Anything to reassure yourself you are safe can help. Even if it's just placebo. That sounds terrifying. I'm so sorry set up things around your apartment that make noise when you enter. They have those spy things for kids you can put on doors. And maybe bells on handles or something. As for your boyfriend leaving the door unlocked. Have him double check every time he leaves. Make him put something in the doorway that is noisy so he remembers. Anything that will make you feel comfortable. Ugh. I'm so sorry I had a thing a couple of years ago where me and my roommate in Parker were woken up. By some guy beating on our apartment door and screaming to let him in. I think he was maybe drunk and his girlfriend friends kicked him out and he was lost. But there's no way to be sure. But it was really scary. Get a dog I promise it'll help. Maybe find a narrative therapist if any in Colorado. To help you understand the relationship with the PTSD. Your brain is trying to keep you safe so it's keeping you on high alert in case anything were to happen again. If you get some things to help the physical environment like the alarms, etc. It will hopefully help your brain to settle down. I think it'll just take time. What a scary thing to have happened. I'm so sorry. I had have for a similar crime but I was actually the point of the attack not my money. There is no quick cure sorry. I wish I had sage advice but mostly you just keep plugging at it. In many states. You can break a lease when I crime happens where you're living. If trad therapy isn't cutting it I might suggest looking into something like EMDR therapy which can be beneficial for post-traumatic stress. I also have PTSD and struggled with hypervigilance and intrusive thoughts. All I can say is that you have to sort of be present with the thoughts and they will eventually pass. Fighting it makes it worse. More intrusive. My psychiatrist prescribed me a medication for PTSD nightmares that helped so much with sleep too. It's okay to not be better and it's so hard not to fight yourself from thinking that you should be operating a certain way. As a European I'm scared of all the people suggesting firearms in this thread. I'm so sorry this happened to you. Wish you the best in recovery. For me personally a single mom living alone I have a 12 gauge shotgun and a German Shepherd. Locks. Alarm. Cameras. Dog. Gun. Simple.